Hello, some of you don't get a chance to read your Bible on a daily basis. So today I want to teach you how to download the Bible app if you don't already have it downloaded so that it can read to you. And then guess what? You can inspire others. Let's go. Turn your phone on and look at your home screen. Do you see the A? Select App Store. You'll see a whole lot of gadgets and gadgets, but don't look at that. Go on down to the right bottom corner and select the search button. Your keyboard should pop up in a few seconds. Then you want to go to the top and type in what you're looking for. Bible app. Select the free one. It'll pop up. Now I can automatically open mine, but you may have to download and set up. I can open mine and it will say you version in a little bit. There it is. I have already signed up for mine and it's going to identify me. Good afternoon, Lorraine. Mm -hmm. Once you sign up, it'll tell you that too. In just a few seconds, when we stroll back to the top of the screen, we're going to tap on Open Story. And it's going to give us some inspiration. And there it is. It's a welcome. It encourages you. It inspires you. It motivates you. It assists you. That's what it's there for. Now we're back to the home stream. Pay attention to the bottom. You see at the bottom, you see the home stream, you see reading, you see plans. Right now, we're going to look at plans. Now, up under plans, plans will aid you on your Christian journey. You may not understand something. Something may be uh, hard for you to get. And guess what? Once you tap on one of those videos or one of those stories, those stories will give you the necessary information that you need to continue on your Christian journey. They will also inspire you. There are so many to choose from. For instance, Passion and Purpose. Dr. Charles Stanley, who is a good teacher, you'll tap on Start Playing. You see the volume button? You tap on that, it'll read it to you. Yeah, you don't even have to worry about reading it. Look, it's a whole lot of things to choose from. Pick one. Next, let's search for a scripture. So the word I'm thinking about is love. So I put love in the box. Love pops up. And guess what happens? Bam, I get a scripture. See how encouraging this app is? And it'll read to you. Did I say that? Let's highlight some text in our reading. And reading is at the bottom of the string. You select reading. Reading pops up. Now I want to teach you how to highlight your text. Right now, we just got a blank page in our reading. You see nothing there. It's blank. It's just the words. They're tight. But in a moment, I'm going to tap it and watch what you see. Up, oh, there are ellipses. Now select the color, which is at the bottom of your string. I selected purple. It will save it automatically for you in your highlighted section of your more string. Next, let's image a text. That's where you put a photograph with the text or you select the background. So we're going to select read again, tap scripture, Scroll down to the bottom of our screen and select create image. That text that you selected will go into that string. Now, right below that, that white column or that white box, you will see fonts and you get a chance to select what kind, what kind of font you want. You pick that font and it'll pop up at the top. And these are all different kind of fonts. And if you don't have a specific one downloaded, all you have to do is tap it with your finger. And guess what? It will download onto your phone and you'll be able to use it. I don't know if all of them are free, but I believe that all of them are. If you're wondering what that black button was, the circle that just turned gray, it's just an extra home button. So once we select what kind of font we want to use, which I'm going to probably go back to the top and select one. And I did, which is spectral. Yes. And you see how it pops up? It pops up a different way. 
And you can uh, size this within the image and you can change the background so that you can see the image more clearly. And you can just play around with it. It won't hurt. It's not going to bother it. If it does, go back out and come back in and do it all over again. Now, right here, you'll get the opportunity to size and justify your text. So now you can do left. You can do center. You can do right. I love center. It's just something about the balance with me as a Libra. A just balance. I like that. And then you can share it with your friends on Instagram, on Facebook. You can airdrop it. You can message it to someone. You can email it to someone. You can save it in your notes. You can do whatever you want to do with it. You can copy it and paste it to your Facebook page if you want to. Maybe you want to change the color of your text. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to go back to the text. We're going to select the text again with our finger. We'll go to the bottom of the string, change the color, and now we're hot pink. It's just that simple. Now let's find out how to gain access to different books of the Bible. The reason why my string is in uh, black is because it's in dark mode, but... You'll see most of the highlighted things that I'm doing at the top of the stream in order for you to gain access to the different books of the Bible. The scripture pops up. Now, let's look at the translations. These are the different translations in which you can read the Bible in. Or the Bible app will read it for you. Just select the play button and it'll start. Chapter 2 now concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Second Peter 2 But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies. Right here at the top right corner, you see the volume button? You can tap on that and you can rewind the text. Bring upon there were false prophets also among the people. Let's visit your more stream. Your more stream kind of mimics your home stream, but it's a little bit more detailed and it's found at the bottom of your home page. That's where you can find it at. And we want to visit notifications. I want to help you set up your notifications because I think you need to hear a word from the Lord every day. Right here, these are notifications from friends of mine. We are friends. So we inspire each other every day on our Christian journey and we get to see what each other have read. So you want to go to your settings. Your account is going to pop up. You want to go to your settings, notification settings. Now you can do push notifications or email notifications. I select push. But there is a variety of things on this list that you can select whether you want to receive notifications for daily or not. But I do push notifications because it allows me to see verses on my home stream before I even unlock my phone. Push notifications also give you the opportunity to actually read a scripture without actually physically reading your Bible on a daily basis, your physical Bible. Now, let's look at kids' Bible experience. I'm going to download that one. See what I've done? I moved it to the right. All of a sudden, it pops up on my home stream. And there it is. So, in case the kids want to read or they want to hear a word from God. Now, let's talk about what we're going through, how we're feeling. You type that in your search box. It'll pop up. And you get a chance to tap on the emotion that you're feeling and it will give you a scripture and a video to match that one and the one we just done was angry so let's look at disrespect or disrespected it will give you scriptures on disrespected those are the scriptures it would also give you video and that stuff is to encourage us is to guide us is to aid us on our christian journey let's look at jealousy or jealous scriptures videos you see, it's that easy. It's the Bible app. It's there to help you. And should I mention it again? 
it'll read it to you. You don't have to do nothing but hit the play button. What you're seeing right now are my highlighted scriptures. You can find those on the more stream. These are the scriptures in which I have read in the Bible. I have highlighted them and I wanted to say for my memory because they inspire me. They encourage me. I hope they encourage you too. Now, right now, what you're looking at is verses of the day, verses from yesterday, verses from Tuesday. And these are the verses that pops up on your home stream before you unlock your phone or your lock stream to remind you about the word of God. Turn on your notifications to get that. Perfect weeks, 66, in which I've studied the word of God or I've paid attention to the word of God. And I'm on a three time streak. This is how many times the Bible app has been downloaded. Isn't that a lot more than the uh, voting for, for the presidential election, huh? Yeah. And the number continuously rise within seconds. So I hope you enjoy it. And remember, read your Bible every day.